Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome Kieran Culkin! Hustling is the key to success. Money is the key to sex. The life is getting lit, sipping more, getting blessed. The games people play, the names people play. Success is just an ordinary. Money is the key to success. Hustling is the key to success. Come on, but it's... Crazy. It's crazy. It's so good to see you. Uh, Thank you. Uh, we love you. Obviously, the audience loves you. You get a big standing O, man. I didn't even get a standing O when I you, came out. There's like a sign that says stand up, right? No, like we don't have a stand, stand up, up sign. No, oh, okay. No. Just no, in the plus trust me, sign. From the monologue, they didn't stand up at, uh, for me. Um, but you, I saw it. You are hosting. It uh, yeah, right. You're hosting Saturday Night Live tomorrow. This yeah, it's crazy. Yeah, it's, it's, it's absolutely insane. But uh, 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 yeah, so it, thank you for coming down oh, to no, the time. Thank you for having me. It's like it's it, it's been a, a dream of mine, and it's uh, it's just surreal. And everyone says like you know, just try to capture moments or something because it just moves so fast. Yeah, uh, and I, I can't really even do that because there's just so much work to be done. Like we did a table read, and there was like 38 scripts. And I get about halfway through. Well, and it's the longest. It's so much work. But you know what's great is at the end, I always feel like at the end of the whole show, when the band's playing the good nights, mm -hmm. it's actually you're just hugging, you're saying goodbye. It's you're saying, like, that show's in the can. It's live. Oh, so it's, it's just awesome. And it feels great. And you're like, whew, all that work. A nice moment. I mean, you've gone, you've done, ca you were part of the cast, and yep. then you've also done hosting duties. Yeah. Is there like a huge difference between the two? For you? No, I mean it's it's, really? it's a, well, I don't remember, you know. I just kind of remember the ride, and I was so learn. I was so green and learning when I was just on the cast, but then hosting, you kind of going back to school, and you, the paint. You remember the smell of the paint from the studio? It's yeah. Interesting. It's just you're a bit out of an advantage, I would assume, because like as like the host, I'm given like so much stuff to do, but I also have never done it before, and I'm just told to like keep pace with everyone who's been doing it so well for so long. Just trust in Donna. That's, I've heard. I've heard about Donna. She'll she, take care of you. She, she will take care of you. But you, this isn't the first time you were on Saturday Night Live, my friend. No. I, I did some uh, research here, some crack research. Look at you. We're here with uh, Dana Carvey. Yeah. This is 1991. It's me. And uh, what do you remember about this? I actually remember quite a lot from that. I mean, it was, it, by the way, it was 30 years ago, almost to the day. I had to look it up. My brother hosted in November of 91. Wow. It's crazy. Uh, and um, there's like little snippets that I remember, like of trying to like think about it, like walking around the studio and being like someone saying like, "Does it look smaller than you remember?" I'm like, "No, it, it's just I was smaller. I, yeah, I was smaller, so <laughs> yeah. it all it already looked yeah huge." But I remember like during like rehearsal day, um, being on the stage and I was with my mom and Kevin Nealon walks by and she uh, she grabs him and she goes, "Oh hey, you're great. Yeah, by the way, you're my son's favorite." And he goes, uh, "He goes, oh thank you very much. That's nice to hear." And I went, Mom, because I'm nine, kids don't have a filter. I went, Mom, I told you, he's my second favorite. Dana Carvey is my favorite. <laughs> oh, my God. You said that to Kevin, yeah. I did. And he, he I remember, I remember like, <laughs> actually seeing him like, take this little tiny dagger and go, like, okay. Well, still very nice to you. <laughs> <laughs> he's a funny dude, too. Yeah, yeah, yeah. He's good. He picked me up at the uh, end of the show. Did he really? Yeah, I think I asked him to do it. I hope so. Ah, I hope I gave him permission. You did, yeah, yeah. Uh, last time you were here, uh, you, you, you and your wife were weeks away from having your first child. Yeah. And now you have two children. Congratulations. Thank you. We have two kids. Uh, yeah, it's nuts. Life is nuts. Life is life moves fast, like you were saying, but is, do you see a difference having two children as opposed to one? Well, yeah, yeah. So... But it's not, it's not that bad. I've had friends say, like, by the way, having two kids is not twice as hard. It's exponentially way harder. Than... <laughs> but I haven't found that to be the case. It's sort of like the first kid changes your life entirely, and the second kid is just more of the same. So yeah. it's kind of that. You're already but... in the madness. Yeah, we're sort of already in it. I remember when I was on your show last, um, uh, we were talking about my wife who was pregnant, and it was a little bit odd because my wife uh, pretty openly hates children. She doesn't like other kids' babies. That's a problem, yeah. She just doesn't like them. And she's like, I hope I like my kid. I'm like, I'm sure you will, honey. And yeah. She did. She, By the way, so now we're two kids in. She still doesn't like kids. But she loves your kids. She loves our kids. And she likes, you know, good kids. There, there's a thing, man. There, there's good kids and there's bad kids. That oh. just, it exists. Oh, yeah. Yeah. It's, oh, it's, it's real. Like, right away, like a year and a half, you're like, that kid sucks. <laughs> like, that kid's going to be someone awful. <laughs> <laughs> that is so funny. There was this, and she has like she has such a like uh, temper for like terrible kids. There was this one kid who um, my daughter was about one, a little, almost one, 
she was just learning to walk, and you know, like at that age, you have kids. Yeah. Like when they're just learning to walk, they kind of like those things that you grab hold to and have wheels, so it like kind of helps yep. them like learn to walk. So she was just kind of unsteady on her feet, and she went to this other kid at the playground. Like uh, it was like a truck or something. Yeah. The kid was about like three and a half. Um, something like that, and she grabbed his truck. The kid came over and goes, no, and he took the hands off, and he pushed my daughter to the ground. And uh, my wife didn't see this. I saw it, so I got angry, and I ran over, and she's crying. I'm, I'm holding her. I'm trying to, like, keep my composure because, you know, this is, I'm trying to reason with a, a three-year-old. Three yeah, yeah. Of course. So I'm trying to tell him you can't do that, and he goes, well, I don't want her touching my thing. I was like, well, if that doesn't matter. You don't push people. And he goes, I don't want to touch him. And then I start going, oh, yeah? Well, look at me. I'm touching your truck. You want to push me? No. <laughs> push oh, my me. God. Yeah. You've lost your mind. And then I see my wife coming over, and I'm thinking she's going to be the voice of reason, right? Like, I'm thinking she's going to calm me down. The moment I see her walking, she's going to calm me down. Instead, what she does, she goes to this poor little kid. She picks up his truck. She moves it, like, five feet from him. She goes, you know what? Why don't you... <laughs> <laughs> Sorry, I know I can't say that on these shows. <laughs> it's totally fine. Yeah, sorry. Long story short. Yeah, long kids story are fantastic. Short, the kids are fantastic. Yeah, you love them. Um, yeah. I want to talk about succession. Yeah. Uh, it's a big deal. Uh, it's a thing. Yeah, it's actually I like a it. Thing. Yeah, I like Renewed it. for a fourth season. Uh, congratulations on that. Uh, you play uh, Roman. Yeah. Uh, but I heard that you originally read for a different part. They wanted me to read for Cousin Greg. Really? Yeah. Which I, I just didn't feel right for. I don't think oh, they made the right call by, they, by they having did. you do Roman. Yeah, well, they, I mean, I, they asked me to read for Greg. I knew I was wrong, and I kind of... Normally, in any other script, I would be like, okay, I'm not right for the part. I'm going to close it. I'm not going to uh, continue reading on. But I just kind of like the script, so I read on. I was like, oh, there's this guy whose first line is something I can't say on your show. Yeah, you already did. I already did. <laughs> <laughs> let's, let's just go... Let's just, uh, um, without, you're good at that. Yeah, well, he says, hey, hey, mother... There you I go. Thought, well, <laughs> I kind of like this guy. I, I like the way it. he talks. I can do that. Yeah. Um, oh, you nailed it, national buddy. television right now, getting bleeped. Um, uh, you, you, you nail it. You're so great in this I, show. I, I asked. I was like, can I audition for Roman? And they were the response back is we're not auditioning for that part yet, but I just sort of put myself on tape anyway and sent it in. I was like, here's three scenes if you want to. Yeah, and this. Nick Braun is fantastic as uh, Cousin Greg. Or I can't the whole cast. One. Yeah. It's fantastic. I, I, the thing is great because is I, I, there's certain people you love, and, but they're all bad, kind of. Yeah. In a kind of a weird way. Yeah, but that's okay. Like, I feel I like watching TV shows where the characters are terrible, and then there's part of me that feels like maybe there's something there. Like, maybe they won't be terrible. Like, I'm, I find myself rooting for Tom Wamsgans. Like, I, I find myself, like, going, like, I really want him to stand up for himself and be, like, a really good guy, and then in the next scene, he's using a human footstool. <laughs> and you're like, maybe he's just awful. Yeah, Why maybe am I rooting for this guy? I, wa I want to show a clip. Uh, here's Kieran Culkin in Succession. Take a look. Okay, well, we can uh, talk about it over lunch, maybe? Uh, not today, Roman. I have a date. Off with who? Montgomery Clift? The ghost Laurie? of Christmas past? Who? Lori. He's ex DOJ. He worked the Arthur Anderson prosecution. I want to see if there's a back channel there. Lori. And you said he wants to back channel you in the parking lot? or? Yeah, so the thing is, I'm dating. I am dating. Mm -hmm. And that needs to be understood. Uh, okay, I get it. Yeah, yeah, you're, you're drawing a line. Or otherwise, you know, Laurie will knock my jolly old block off if he can find his sword stick and fire up his motorized bath chair. <laughs> Come on. Succession airs Sunday nights on HBO. Hey, hey.